My name is Rapsy, and welcome back to the Binding Vice Rebirth, where last time we fucked up. This time, let's not do that again. Solar System, let's complete the challenge. Um, it turns out fighting horsemen in Solar System is good. Who would have guessed? This screen is dark. Let me see if I can pump up the gamma after I take damage to this person. After I take damage to these as well, then I'll pump up the gamma. I'm trying to play safely, I promise you, it's just not well. Oh, god damn. All right, gamma. Can I pump the gamma? The gamma is currently as high as the gamma can go. Whoops. If it's a bit too dark, just stick with me through to the next floor. It'll become less dark, I promise. Unless, of course, we get Curse of the Darkness next floor as well, in which case, I lied. Ooh, horseman. No! Dead! That quickly! Oh. Fuck this video game. Oh no! No, stop taking damage! This is just not the way that I want to play the video game. I want to use tears and I want to be protected. I want to have health. But instead, I have to complete this challenge. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Okay, so we have three full hearts. We cannot see our hearts. Okay, so we have two and a half full hearts. We cannot see our heart status because we currently are under the effects of a curse. Fucked if I know which. I think it's Curse of the Blind. Let's check. It's Curse of the Unknown. Good work, Ryan. <gasps> it's another horseman! The run is real! I'm actually going to leave this floor. I have no interest in continuing this floor. Well, I can't see my health. Bullshit. Krampus. Krampus's head. Then we're rocking and we're rolling. Come on. I'm actually going to put a bomb there. And that's to blow up all of the... Well, a lot of the enemies. And also to make the little middle of the map a little less dangerous for me. Okay, now I can afford to go in here. Oh, are you kidding me? I still have Curse of the Unknown. Bollocks. Bollocks to that, I say. Uh, okay, so I have one spirit heart remaining, protecting three full red hearts. Or rather, I should. Hey, okay, two spirit hearts. Okay, I'm starting to feel a bit more confident about getting the deal with the devil here. Oh, God! Why? These black goddamn spiders suiciding into me. It's atrocious. It's just atrocious. It's poor manners, is what it really is. They were raised poorly. Okay, and get the fly around this side. Clean them up. Good work. Now, I am looking for spacebar items that individually... Thems... Ah, oh, shit. Individually thems... Fucking hell, how'd you get through the ball bandages, you bitch? Individually themselves do damage! It's kind of like a really bad Jerry Seinfeld impression there. I apologize if you're a fan. Okay. There was a tinted rock over there that I only noticed one second too late. This fight is difficult. This fight is probably very difficult. Fuck. No deal with the devil. Range up. All right. I will literally restart this run. Okay, I did get a tinted rock. I was about to say, if I don't get a tinted... If I don't get a... Sorry, a, um... Heart. Oh my god. This is tragic. This is tragedy. I always play worse when I have Curse of the Unknown. And it's entirely based off the fact that I'm like, mm, I have health. I, I trust that I have some amount of health. Otherwise, I'd be dead. Therefore, I have health and can play risky. But of course, this whole run is about playing risky, right? Usually, it's super risky to use your orbitals to deal damage, right? You do that in, like, the final... Fuck! Oh my god, these enemies! I... No, kill me. Come on, please. Let's make this a threefer. Bam! Dead. God damn it, now I have to continue the run. How dare you? 
make me play this video game that I love. Okay. I have enough keys that I can probably go in here and just check it out. Oh look, really cool items. Now I feel worse that I checked it out, because now I've checked it out and i found that I want all of them. Okay... Fuck this, seriously! Oh my god, look at this room. This room could- this room literally should just have, especially in this challenge, the words fuck you scrawled on the floor, because that's what the room is saying to you. Don't get it twisted. That is what the room is trying to say to you. Don't get it twisted. D M X R R R R. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. No damage. No damage. Fight two bosses at the same time. Let's take no damage. Ah, okay. So, um. Take little damage. No lethal damage, please. Fuck. I am restarting this run. Even the fact that we had a, uh... A cube of meat was not enough there. Missing two deals with the devil. I might actually just want to go with deals with the angel on this run. So if I find a deal with the devil and it doesn't have anything immediately useful, there's no way that I should take it. Because what if I get a deal with the Angel and it has uh, Holy Mantle in it? Holy Mantle would probably win me this run. Like, immediately. And it would be excellent and lovely. So, yes. In summation. Ah, oh, fuck. You trite spider pieces of shit. Um, in summation, I would like the Holy Mantle Please video game. I think I deserve it on my fourth attempt at this. Huh? What? Hey, yeah, buddy. Good, good work. Did I just fucking pat myself on the back for that? No, Ryan. Please, learn a little bit of modesty. Have someone else say good work. Okay. Oh, this is easy. Or it should be, at least. Unless it decides to jump forever. There we go, and boom. Lovely. Got a bit of a range up, so that's going to be really helpful for nothing. Fuck this game. I feel like you should have items on this run. Right? Because you already have the huge handicap of not being able to shoot tears. I can't even remember how I finished this run the first time. Oh, look, we're going to become Guppy. Yay. And now my red hearts are exposed, which means that the deals with the devil are in risk. Uh -oh. In short, oh no. Oh, fuck. There's nothing I can do against that. There's nothing I can do. I'm just going to be over here sounding like a deflating balloon. a cat that's disappointed in your behavior. Come on, and... Yes! Good work. As I said, nothing I can do, except for the time that I did the thing. Julie, do the thing! I'm working on my barrack impression. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'll get it down. <clears throat> Me and one of my closest friends, who you might know from my Rogue Legacy series, named Peek. Um, want to do a double cosplay where he goes as Julie and I go as Varric. Come on, I didn't even take damage in the boss fight! You could have just been nice and given me the deal with the devil regardless. Okay. Deal with the devil probably and risk this floor as well off the back of the fact that I still don't have a spirit heart and don't have any appreciable way of getting them. Lovely. Oh, 
fuck this room. Remember when it ended my run last time? Well, it didn't end my run. It almost ended my run. It set up. It was the beginning of the end. Right? It was the horseman of the apocalypse of my run. Except for famine, because I already did have literally a horseman of the apocalypse. It, it, was, it, it, it was the harbinger of doom for my run. Fuck. Now I've lost a deal with the devil chance. Shitty early bosses. Yep. Restart. We are Restart City USA. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of how much I'm restarting. It's just this uh, this challenge tends to get out of control pretty early. So you need some pretty good luck in the pretty early stages to find yourself sitting pretty. God damn it, Haunt. Oh, fuck. No. What? I... Okay. Mm-hmm. Well. Ow. Well. This, um... This doesn't seem good for me. I'm getting all these... I'm happy to get a health up, right? Rather than a ranger, which is... Apparently the soup du jour. So a health up is good. Range up, not. More health ups, please. I don't care if it's a health up and a damage up. Just so many. Oh my god. There are so freaking many of those. The, the, the batteries. If I just had something that was useful with a the battery, then I would be really happy. But unfortunately, not such a thing will happen. Okay, what's this? Our fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth? Attempt? I said a tenth. Whoops. Oh! Okay. I just need to get to that safely. No! Get out of my way. No! Die! Yes! Now I need to protect this until I complete the boss. Then I'll be a little happier about this run. <clears throat> then I can unclench. I can stop the Kegel. Hey, gotcha. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good in terms of health. Um, and I've already fought the Haunt, right? So the Haunt was the first boss that I fought, which means that I can't fight the Haunt now, right? It's kind of like when you get Ghost Baby on a normal run. This is something that this is that I legitimately just straight up stole this sentence from Northern Line. The best thing about getting the Ghost Baby in the run is that you can't get the Ghost Baby ever again. Same thing about fighting the Haunt. Especially since I fought him on uh, floor one, so he can't steal my deal with the devil chance by dealing enough damage to me to actually remove all of these spirit hearts and then a bit of my red heart. Bam. Okay, no reason to go in there. I don't have the money for it. No reason to fuck around with this room. No tinted rock in it. No passage through it. Bam, and Kislam. I'm starting to feel like the secret room is directly... Nope, it's not. Okay. Alright. Ooh, double monstro. Ooh, double monstro. Ooh, the double monstro. Speed plus damage up. That's speed up, at least. Guppy's hairball. Yeah. So the other one is Flight plus Spectral Tears. Since I have no Tears and I already have Flight, there's no reason to pick that up. But Guppy's Hairball swings itself around, does damage. There's a challenge later called Cat Got Your Tongue where we actually have to use it as our primary damage source. Um, but for the moment, it's just one third uh, transformation to Gupster. Which, I would like to become Guppy. Um, not only for eight lives, nine lives, sorry. Uh, but also because of the Krampus head benefit. I don't know why I decided to fight this room. There's, like, very few things that I could have gotten from this room that would be worthwhile having to fight the specific enemies that I actually have to fight in this room. 
At least I haven't taken any damage so far, so I'm pretty happy about that. Of course, I'm about to jinx myself. Just play safe. Play safe, slow, steady, wins the race, that type of thing. It, uh, well, I guess, yeah, that, I benefit half a spirit heart from that. Okay. Boom. Kabam. Excellent. That makes up for the bombs that I spent finding that room, plus another. Excellent. I'm just making little gains here and there. Well, I don't like this at all, so I'm just going to try and... Well, I only blew one of them up, so that's really nice. Okay, now I'm feeling a little better about it. No, damn it, that's the damage I didn't want to take. Oh, well, at least I'll uh, be able to purchase something from this, uh, this item room over here. Item room, I say, of course. It's a shop, not an item room. We don't get item rooms on this run, so it's basically the only room with items. There we go. Uh, black Handle's okay. Just means we're not going to have to uh, undergo any curses. Oh, it also gives you a black heart, by the way. One free black heart. Come on, Guppy's head, do you? There we go. Guppy's head managed to do its due diligence there. Okay, while I am in invincibility frames from having taken damage, I was trying to just... Cop out the rest of it. That's uh, evil range plus shot speed up. So none of that's really super helpful for me. This is really good. I guess I take this as well. Spectral baby. Okay. So what was the first one? That was contract from below. Now room drops are doubled, so any drop that happens at the end of a room, because of the completion of that room, there's gonna drop two things instead of just the one. That's pretty good. But when you have luck up, it becomes insane. And it will cover all of your consumables for like a whole run. Oh uh, well. It's unfortunate that we had to take damage to do that. Okay, this should be pretty easy to clear with Guppy's hairball. Here we go. Guppy's hairball coming through. I came in like a hairball. Never hit so hard. Okay. Let's just spread all of those all over the place. Speed down. I have enough bombs that I think I can take the liberty cap pretty safely. Um, so I'm gonna put a bomb in there so that I don't take damage while I collect everything. And I got a bomb out of it, so I guess it's okay. Come on. Yeah, all those mushrooms are dead. Good work, Ryan. Of course, it didn't really do anything for me. But hey, wouldn't have been grand if it did. Let's live in that world where we pretend it did. Oh. Man, all right, I guess I'm gonna go down here, pop this pill. Oh, you wizards, so that's gonna affect the tears that I'm not shooting. <sighs> Sigh. Hmm. Nope. I wanted three red chests so that I could uh, roll the dice and probably have a little bit of uh, victory becoming guppy. That's actually probably better for me. Considering I'm not doing anything offensively myself, at least. I've also got to keep in mind that I do have Ghost Baby, and I might as well shoot his projectiles uh, when I can. Should the opportunity to do so present itself. Fuck. Lovely. I'm getting a lot of keys. Don't really have a lot of things to open with my a lot of keys, but if I have anything to open with a lot of keys, then I'll be glad to have this a lot of keys. Come on. Die, you greedy. Yeah, good. These are called greed heads, or what are they actually called? Like, leapers, moles, or something? There's, there's a specific name for them, but no one remembers it. They are the heads of greed. 
Yep. Gotcha. Perfect. Thank you, Guppy's Hairball, for actually being useful for once in your fucking life. Guppy's Hairball also blocks tears, by the way. So it can be used to actually just hit tears out of the air. I'm just not good at doing that. I took too much damage there. Okay, so there's an opportunity to use some of these, um... Some of these keys. That rerolls something. Not certain what it rerolls, so I'm not gonna fuck around with it yet. We'll figure out over the course of the game what it rerolls. Now I'm just um the guppy's hairball increases in size and the damage that it does. I'm not certain exactly what makes it increase anymore. It can increase... In the first game, it increased with the more enemies that it killed, right? I don't think that's the metric it uses anymore. I think it now increases by how much damage it does rather than how many enemies it kills. Because what if something else accidentally takes the kill and then Guppy's hairball never grows? Oh, god damn it. Please, hollow, die! Oh, man. Range up. Excellent. Oh, okay. This could be our savior. As long as it's not coal. Yes! Ooh, what are these? It's a joker. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We need something to keep us alive. Please, Dark Bomb. That is not a Dark Bomb. That is another piece of Guppy, though. If we become Guppy, then we will have the run I was talking about. Krampus's head, Guppy. So we need to just play super safe until we can try and guarantee that for ourselves. So... Excellent. It's pretty good so far. Didn't take any damage in that one room. Might as well pat ourselves on the back at this point. We've basically achieved what I said. I played safe for a total of one room. Oh, damn it. I figured that was going to happen as well. The world. Open your eyes and see that your eyes are open. Well. Fuck you too, game. So, Cricket's Head is a 1.5 times damage multiplier after giving you an additional damage buff. But, since we obviously don't do any damage without tears, no, please survive. Please survive the video game, Ryan. You can do it. I believe at you. You can do the thing. I am a tiny potato. Thank you. Oh, you're kidding me! If I survive this, I am the greatest man. I just want you to know that. No! You dick! How dare you! I don't deserve this. We're gonna try one more time. I didn't even know that double haunt could happen. That's one guppy item, and we are guaranteed the deal with the devil every single time uh, that we fight a boss which we are eligible to get a deal with the devil from. That's very important to note, because you can't get a deal with the devil in the cathedral, you can't get a deal with the devil in the dark room, you can't get a deal with the devil in the shadow, uh, in the uh, sheol or the chest, or on the first floor. So we're not eligible for a deal with the devil. I'm leaving these spirit hearts here, because if... I take damage this floor, it doesn't exactly matter, because, um, well, there's no deal with the devil chance, right? Oh, wait, I don't even need to worry about my deal with the devil chance, but still, um, I can replenish my red hearts more easily than I can replenish, um, spirit hearts. Okay. I played that because there was basically no reason not to with the amount of red hearts that are on the floor. Oh, come on! That's the most obvious spot for it, and it's not there. I don't think secret room placement is working as should be intended, at least. 
there was a patch um, not too recently, but it, it did exist at some point in time, um, that said that they'd fix secret room placement. I don't think that took place. Person. Damn it! No! The whole point of the no! no. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! How am I this bad at the- No, didn't happen. Everyone, forget that that happened. Wipe that from your memory if you have a, uh, if you have, uh, if you could please also clean the cache on your, uh, on your internet files so that, uh, the evidence of that having happened, uh, is, is deleted. Because that's very embarrassing, and I had uh, a little bit of a promising run going on there with those uh, two start items, but then I decided to take uh, way too much damage in the boss fight. I don't play like this. That's the th oh fuck you. I might actually have to just start resetting as soon as I get the cellar, because fighting the haunt is almost always a death sentence. He says, "Ah, fuck." Oh, come on. Play nice, you prick. Yay. So that's all stats up. <clears throat> One of the best things we could have gotten from there, I guess. I'm still not pleased, though. I'm still salty about how last run ended. I don't even think we could call it a run. Wait, no, I told you all to forget about it. Okay, I, I'm not salty about anything. Nothing has ever happened. Also, one, episode 140 uh, of Hearthstone Arena, Salty Dog. That never happened either. Um, while we're retconning things, episode 50 of Hearthstone Arena also didn't happen. Um, I never played a Mech Warper deck uh, in Hearthstone Ranked. Um, never screamed like a girl in uh, Outlast. Didn't spend two episodes searching for the Sword of Necks in Legend of Grimrock. These are all things I'm just going to retcon and you're going to go along. Whoa, buddy. Buddy. This is good. Okay. So, our health situation should mostly be taken care of. Thanks to the Dark Bomb. The Necronomicon is going to help us take care of rooms that are frustrating. Um, because they are filled with large amounts of enemies that are moving quickly. So spiders and stuff like that are probably not going to be too damaging for us anymore. The rotten baby will actually spawn flies for us to do our bidding. Which means that damage ups are actually effective because they will increase the damage that that dude is doing. So that's good. That was the deal with the devil that I've been looking for. That was definitely the deal with the devil I've been looking for. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Oh, I can see it in your smile. Um, I'm actually going to gamble on these so that I can get red hearts for Dark Bomb Tweet. Go for it, Dark Boomba. Oh no, I accidentally picked up that red heart. Whoopsie. Skatol would be pretty good as well. Even when I fail on this, I'm just getting friendly flyers. That's okay. How much do I risk? I wonder. Because I can risk a lot. By which I mean, I can... Uh... No... I was going to say that I can spend one and a half hearts so that I can keep gambling here, but that's, that's not a good idea. So I'll blow it up. Okay, those for Dark Bomb. Come on, and thank you. Blow this guy up as well. Usually you end up getting more than you paid in terms of a bomb from killing those. Rotten baby. Okay, so I actually have to hold down the uh, the button, the firing button for Rotten Baby to do anything. Oh, another spirit heart. Okay. Okay, the run has begun. Praise the run. Yep. Dead cat. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a dead cat. 
I will pick that up at the end of the floor. Ouch. 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 What is all this damage? Paralysis and then just stopping in the wrong position. Oh my god. No, no more damage. No, I... I I absolutely outlaw it. Banned. It damages exiled from my kingdom. I am the Lord of the Flies and this is my decree. Jeez. Alright, so I'm not going down because I think I might have to use my um. I think I might end up having to use my Necronomicon in the room that is downwards because it is a bigger room. Oh, okay. Thank you for the spider. Yeah, that's actually pretty worthwhile. Yep. Thank you. Three charge. This is actually better. The Book of Shadows is effectively going to let me use my body as a Necronomicon. And it has half the charge time. Yep. Definitely prefer this. Hell, I can even play Blood Banks. Okay. Lost can't hit me. Hematomesis would be lovely. Because Hematomesis pills drop so many hearts. Or, well, often drop so many hearts. Uh, that the Dark Bomb gives you back more than you lost in Spirit Hearts. Which is lovely. And we'll go in here. Uh, no reason to take that. Hematomesis. That is amnesia. Okay, so I realize that I have explored everything down, except I do have the dead cat still waiting to be picked up in that room. Okay, one down, two down, <clears throat> no, I'm going to have to fight one of them without the uh, Book of Shadows. Ouch, no more damage, no more damage from this guy, okay. Fine, tears, doesn't really do anything. Alright, I've already seen that. And we will go... I mean, I guess I could have even just picked it up for no reason. Because we are about to lose that health uh, by picking up Dead Cat. Hmm. I don't know. Oh god, that was an accident. There's almost nothing that could be in that shop. I mean, I would have to rely on something good being half price, which is just unlikely. Take that. I believe that's our second. Second? Really? That's our first guppy item. Did I not? Oh, no, no, that was a different run. Damn it. Okay, that is our first guppy item. Game is correct. I am wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I could be guppy. Brimstone, unfortunately, doesn't help me. I still can't fire brimstone shots. Alright, this is worthwhile doing. Just wish it was a little faster so that I would have enough left to use on Loki, I believe it is. No, it's Peep. No more damage. Here we go. Yeah, no more damage. Good work. Oh, well. Hey, I got a spirit heart at the end of it. I guess it's fine. Bang that out. Now, all of the plays on these are for red hearts, hopefully. I guess I also get flies. Come on. Oh, I just got another pretty fly as well from playing, so... That's really useful. That is a full suite of orbitals, so we are going to be blocking as many tiers as we possibly can. Lovely. It's rare to have nine keys and no other consumables. Usually keys are the consumable you are running short on. 
Excellent. Thank you very much, Dark Bomb. Anarchist Cookbook, not particularly interesting to me. I might use it to blow up the uh, arcades. But right now, I'm just going to play this for free. I'm hoping mostly to get the blood bank out of this. Or enough money to visit the shop. I guess that's okay as well. I'm actually really disinterested in continuing to be in this room. Uh, if I had any more bombs, like literally if I had two bombs rather than one, I would most likely have just bombed immediately out. I do have to be careful to make sure that I am going to have a Book of Shadows charge for the boss. But for the moment, I'm just going to battle three rooms and then go back and uh, gamble again. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, I'll two of hearts for half a heart. Seems worthwhile to me. Pop it. We know you're here. Pop it. Okay. Man, I'm rolling in the dough. I'm just not... Well... Getting the... Meat thing... The thing, the thing that I want. You know, the health up thing that I want. So I know Brimstone is one of the items. No, Brimstone is the item, sorry, in this uh, deal with the devil. Taking damage there was actually my intention because I did get that extra half heart from the two of hearts. Okay. Gambling for bombs as well, basically. Gambling for most anything, really. Don't particularly mind what I end up with. Getting Skatol, uh, I don't actually think helps me at this point. Oh wait, it will. It'll help me against um, other fly enemies that aren't the basic fly. Ah, another spirit heart. Thank you, Dark Bomb. This is going to be a lot of gambling going on. Oh, yes. Okay, now we have 40 cents left. I'm going to leave the gambling for just a little bit. And seek out the boss. Oh, my fucking god, are you kidding me? I hate this room! This is surprisingly good RNG on this room. And RNG, by the way, because they're popping up at the right times to get hit by the right things. Still ended up taking damage. Still ended up accidentally stealing something from Dark Bomb. He was supposed to eat that. Okay. And boom. Excellent. Just seeing if that opened up a super secret room. It did not. It was a very slim chance for it to do so, but, you know. Might as well take the chance. I'm not certain if I'll have enough rooms to recharge the Book of uh, Shadows before I fight the boss. So, instead of risk it, I'm just gonna... Just gonna play it a little safe. So, this increases my damage. This one. Uh, but it also makes more enemies into their boss versions. Their champion versions. And the champion versions can, uh, you know, do a lot, right? So, the small damage increase that it would give... Uh, plus, the, da the champion versions all have twice as much health. So the small damage increase that it would give to Rotten Baby is probably going to be mitigated and then some by the fact that they become more powerful being their champion versions. And that's why I'm not going to take it. Pretty Fly? Eh, whatever. I already had a full suite of orbitals, so the Pretty Fly doesn't actually do anything. Okay, and pop up, pop up, pop up. There we go. Lovely. Dark bum. Oh my god, I love you. Easiest boss fight of my life. Um, that 
that could re-roll me more health. I'll do that. Oh, right, I knew it, Brimstone. Um, yeah, nothing I'm particularly interested in searching for here. Let's continue onwards. Like and have in the Book of the Shadows. Ooh, guppy item, guppy item. That has to be a guppy item. No, it doesn't. Apparently, it can be goat head. Forgot about that. I was thinking, oh, a red chest can only give me guppy items. Oh, well, at least the having the goat head gives us a higher chance to have guppy items. Because we get the deals with the devil. Hopefully, they have guppy items in them. We take them. Then we become guppy. This is my design. Fuck you, Brimstone Spider. Everyone hates you. Face even a mother couldn't love. Alright. That's a lot of bombs to protect. I said protect. I meant collect. <laughs> no clue how my brain went. Yep, same word. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry about it, buddy. Say it. You won't sound dumb. You got this. Another spirit heart. Loving it. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. There we go. Dark bomb. Oh man, dark bomb. How dare you betray me? Yeah, honestly, dark bomb is doing what he can. So, I still want to visit the shop, which I guess is right here, because if I get high of mind, um, I will be a very happy man. Steam sale. Don't want it, but... Might as well take it. This is... Depths 1. Okay, so it will actually affect one shop for me. Oh, come on. Please, just sit down, buddy. Thank you. Take your lumps like a man, Private Twinkle Toes. Lovely. Cafe Bill. I'm so close to becoming Guppy, this could actually be better for me. Ooh, this is a bad decision to be making, but I'm making it. I think I need this damage output to deal with Mom's heart. I think in the long run, this is going to be the correct decision. In the short run, this is a bad idea. That is our final Guppy item. We have now become Guppy Destroyer of Worlds. What? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? That was our second Guppy item. I was so excited as well. I thought... I took Krampus's head because I believed that we had two Guppy items. I even, the thing is, earlier that floor, I was like, wait, no, we don't have two guppy items. What am I talking about? And then somehow my brain was like, no, you totally do. Even after I guaranteed that I did not. Now I need the game to be nice and go, look, we understand you thought there was a guppy item. Uh, we'll just, we'll just help you out with that one there. Thanks, Dark Bizzle. I figure that my health situation is still going to be covered by Dark Bizzle. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Don't. Please. Please, video game. Oh, it's a guppy item. It's the guppy item. We've done it. We have finally done what I said we did before. We have become guppy. Destroyer of Worlds. I will destroy that rock, speaking of. That, uh, both of those have a 25% chance of dropping a Spirit Heart when they blow up. It didn't happen, but still worthwhile having checked. It's also important to note that I do have nine lives, so if I fuck up... I get to fuck up nine more times before I actually have to pay for it. Hey. I do need to remember that these guys are not bounded by the land mass in this room. This is searching for black hearts, by the way. Nothing. Okay. 
Break as much as I can. Oh, I accidentally left that open the whole time. It's fine. Please, hive minds. Then the game is over. Hive mind, and then I just need to play safely until the end of the game. Please. Well, not exactly hive mind. Oh, uh, it's okay, I guess. So now when I take damage, I'm actually going to spawn things. Then those things might help me. There's a key. <clears throat> Pop that open. I'm in a pretty good position health-wise. Okay, so now I just need Mum's heart. A few sections to pop up at the same time. So I want more than once. Uh, I'll do that. Because now these flies will just wreck Mum's heart. Excellent. Oh, look at all this. Oh, buddy, those hearts. <clears throat> Take the Polaroid. Yeah, I'll take that. That's the final guppy item as well. <laughs> Is that actually the only- No, I, I also don't have guppy's hairball, so that would be the final guppy item. Um, none of those are- You know, if I still had the- What was it before? If I still had the Book of Shadows, the Midas Touch might have been worth taking, but also I don't want to have to fight that whole room, so yeah, fuck that. Mmm, still gonna be searching for tinted rocks, because if I can increase my damage, I will be increasing severely the damage that these, uh, guppy flies are doing. So, by way of small rock, is the way that I'm looking at increasing my damage now. At this point, it looks like Dark Bum will just keep me topped up, and hell, even drop some redundant hearts. If I can ever describe a heart as redundant, then I'm feeling pretty good. Like, oh, I don't need it. It is useless to me. Lovely. Um, boss should not even be a concern. Oh my god, look at all these damage I'm taking. I am actually taking too much damage. Um, if I could somehow take half a heart of damage, I would actually be pretty glad about that. Please, pop up when my red fly is near you. He's waiting for the planets to align correctly before he pops up. Fuck you. Prick, pop up. Here we go. And bam, gotcha. See, if I could go down to half a heart, then my uh, Polaroid will protect me after I take hits of damage. And that will be super useful. Okay, another soul heart. Um, there's not really anything in those red chests that is particularly useful to me right now. I don't think you can get actually like, I've I've played this for over a hundred and something hours now. Um, I don't. I'm still pretty certain, rather than absolutely certain, that you can't get um, deal with the devil items from red chests. Respawn as Judas. You know, it's worth taking. Not for the respawn, but for the fact that now I have permanent Polaroid invincibility. So anytime I take damage, I will uh, trigger the Polaroid effect. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. If I could only somehow see the map. Oh, wait, I left a spirit heart on last floor. Whoops. If I could somehow see the map right now, that would please. Hematomesis is badass. Balls of steel. Oh my god, range down here. I can see forever is actually pretty good as well. So I can see forever often lets you just cut through the map, take some shortcuts. <laughs> Another hematomesis. This is what I was talking about with Dark Bomb and Hematomesis. Look at that shit all over the ground there. It's a lot of money. If only we had bum friend. We have one of the bum friends, and that's good. So here's the permanent Polaroid invincibility I was talking about. I take damage, and then I get to just chill. And not have the ability to take damage for a while. I have enough hearts on this wall that I don't... I'll take the round range down pill. I'll take it. 
I don't even give a shit. I am a free man. God damn it. Uh -huh. What have we got in here? Amnesia, range down, I'll take it. Hematomesis, excellent, that's some more. Pulse of steel! Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. Alright, our health position is crazy. And we will have the Krampus's head ready for this fight. Oh man, Mom's heart managed to get away from us. No longer. Look at all those tears that our orbitals are blocking. That is how much work orbitals do. And that is fucking grand. Finally, second episode took 12 trillion years. But we managed to do it. And you'll want to know why I'm so happy about it. The rune of Perthro is a rune that you use and it rerolls all of the items in the room. So it's really good for supplementing your D6 charges to get an incredibly powerful run. Next time on the Binding Visor Rebirth, we're going to go do the next challenge. Fucked if I remember what that is. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself as much as I have at the very least near the end there. Uh, if you like the video, please click like. It doesn't help me get my content out to you people. There's also a playlist in the description down below if you want to watch another episode. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself and we will see you next time.